here guys and today we're talking about the JH EMCU or is it the J Hemku? How do you say that? Um, all in one board and these guys are scrimping. They're not spending money on packaging. They're definitely not spending it on branding uh, because I don't know what's up with the name of this thing but what they are doing is passing all of those savings on to you because this is a 30 amp toothpick all in one flight controller and electronic speed controller that you can get for 30 something dollars. That's right, 30 amps for 30 something dollars. This should be good for two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, um, all the way up to 4S. And uh, this really gives us a lot of possibility um, back into our micros. Now this has been one of the hottest boards on the market. And the question is, do you spend a little bit more and go with that? known brand recognition like a Dytone Mamba 25 amp board or do you spend 75 bucks and get the 35 amp board from Beta FPV or do you take a chance spend half as much and get this 30 amp board so I'm gonna have all three on the channel I'm gonna do a shootout video but comparing them all at some point but we're really gonna put this one to the test I'm gonna put this into a five inch um, pod racer run it on some 4s uh, medium-sized motors probably a 16 series or 18 series, uh, who knows, maybe we'll eventually we'll try something even a little bit larger. Some of the notes are, this thing comes with an XT60 connector, not an XT30. So that really means that they're making a bold, bold statement about just how powerful that they think this is. Now it has two full UARTs, which will make it totally usable for the DJI system and Crossfire, which is really what you want these days. And, in addition to that, it has the MP6000 gyro, the gyro that we all know and love. Don't fool around with any of those other gyros, guys. Let's pour over everything. Um, note that this is powerful. It comes with an XT60, not an XT30. Comes with a set of gummies for mounting. It comes with some nice thick wire that you're gonna want to be able to use to run 4S on this bad, but connectors, if you actually wanna use connector motors, I think that's probably a waste for something this powerful. It does not come with a capacitor, but my understanding from the kebab group is that you are absolutely going to want to run this with a capacitor. So I really do like the direction that we're heading with beefier and beefier all in one boards allowing you to have builds that are easier faster to get going simpler and as long as we can get these in a state where they are actually reliable um, we're getting closer and closer to that i'm gonna have a shootout very soon with this one the mamba 25 amp the beta fpv 35 amp to see which one is the best value of all of three of those which ones can handle what you're gonna throw on it i feel like i feel pretty comfortable throwing these onto anything lower than like a 2204 motor or something like that. Um, I'm thinking we're very close to being able to actually fly some five inch freestyle on these, maybe one more generation. Um, but right now you can really comfortably fl fly like a very light five inch T-mount, um, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to push this to the limits. And uh, you know, we'll see if this can really replace some of those boards that really makes it a lot more versatile for being able to configure your builds with the DJI system or an analog system and keep it very, very light. This new generation of five inch racers like the ET Extraterrestrial Twig uh, Racer X and the new Pod Racer are making it possible to get our five inch racing builds lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. And um, if these can really hold up to the abuse, perhaps we'll all be racing with something that's a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter, and potentially if it can actually survive a little bit cheaper and easier to build up spares. Thanks guys.